Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, I'm going to explain it to you how you can change default image path filter for an WP Event Manager event listing. So what I mean by that, let's open an all events or the event dashboard in the back side, And we're going to remove uh, the image from the event and we're going to take a look into it in the front end side, right? So let's say this that we have here and we're gonna remove the event thumbnail and we're gonna remove the event banner okay so let's update this event let's open this event in a new tab so as you can see the event uh, banner over here by default looks like this okay so suppose you don't want to use uh, this by default image over here but instead you want to use your own branded logo or something like that okay at, after all the website is yours you want to customize it to the farthest extent right so uh, just a bit of uh, code and you will be able to do that very shortly so i will leave the code snippet to my github and i'll leave the link in the description feel free to check that out and let us know in the comment if you face any kind of difficulties until then let's get continue with the video and i'll show you how to do it okay so we're gonna open our uh, code editor. I suggest you use an FTP or the code editor for your web host. But I'm gonna use the default theme editor over here. But keep in mind if you make any PHP mistakes with theme editor and then you will lose access to the site and you can't get it back until you fix that, right? So keeping that aside, let's load up our functions.php and I have the code copied to my clipboard that I'm gonna paste over here. Okay, so let's fix the formatting a little bit. Right, that looks good. Okay, so what we are doing here, if you see, we are creating a function with a parameter image URL. We are defining image URL as uh, this uh, image over here. So if we open this, we will see a PNG file. Let's open this, yeah. So Take a note how this looks and how this looks, right? So this is different than this one. Okay. So then we are returning the image URL and we are adding that function over here to another function using add filter. So we are adding it to event manager default event banner. So pretty much self explanatory You don't need to understand the code if you really don't want to. Just copy paste the code, change your URL to this one. You can even use like your uh, inside images as well. So if we go to let's say media and library, then we can like open uh, this image over here. The file URL over here you will find that you can copy and paste it over here as well. So let's not do that as of now. Uh, let's update this file and we will see how it looks in the front end side. So see how this image are over here right now. Let's reload. So this is the default image now. So I know this doesn't look good, but this is just an example. But we can like replace the image with this one. Just an example. We can remove this and copy paste our image URL. Then we're gonna reload this page. So let's reload. And as you can see, the default image been replaced by the image we just pasted URL for. So this one. So this is how simple it is to modify the default event banner for yourself, for your website, for custom brand. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. If you did, let us know in the comment, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. If you are facing any kind of difficulties or stumbling upon any kind of problems, let us know in the comment as well. I'll be sure to help you out. Until next time, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.